This AIN video is brought to you by Bombardier. The momentum behind the adoption of hydrogen as a power source for aviation got a big boost in September when Airbus announced that the technology will be its main path to sustainable air transport. The European Aerospace Group unveiled three concepts for hydrogen-powered airliners and said that a version of one of these could be in commercial service by 2035. Announcing its Zero E initiative, Airbus Chief Technology Officer Grazia Vettadini explained that the company will make a final decision on which of these concepts is the most realistic by 2024, and that a technology demonstrator aircraft could be flying in 2025. The most eye-catching of the three Airbus concepts is a blended wing design that could carry around 200 passengers just over 2,000 miles. The wing and the main cabin section of the fuselage are merged together to allow plenty of space for the fuel cells and the tanks. Now, one challenge with hydrogen is that it has a high volume compared with the current jet fuel, and that poses some design challenges, as does dealing with the way the fuel acts at low temperatures. Most hydrogen aircraft concepts would require the fuel to be stored in the main fuselage, rather than only in the wing and that does mean limiting, to some extent, the cabin space. Airbus is looking at more conventional designs too, including a turbofan aircraft that looks pretty similar to its current narrow-body airliners, and this would carry between a 120 and 200 passengers. Another is a 100-seat twin turboprop that would feature modified gas turbines and have a range of up to around 1,000 miles. But Airbus isn't the only hydrogen pioneer, and there are some smaller startups who are now taking quite a different approach. For instance, Zero Avia is developing its own hydrogen propulsion system that it says can be used to convert existing aircraft. It recently flew the technology, including hydrogen fuel cells, for the first time on a six-seat Piper Malibu aircraft from its development base at Cranfield in the UK. By the end of 2023, Zero Avia says it will have approval to retrofit a 10 to 20 seat aircraft, such as a Cessna Caravan, a Twin Otter, or a Dornier 228, and get it operating on hydrogen for flights of just over 500 miles. In fact, by the end of 2020, the company expects to have made a test flight of almost 300 miles from the Orkney Islands in Scotland to the mainland. Zero Avia founder Val Miftakov says it already has letters of intents from around 10 airlines who say they want to add hydrogen aircraft to their fleets. And he's been talking to seven different aircraft manufacturers about the retrofit plan. By around 2040, his company believes that hydrogen power could support flights of up to 3,000 miles with 200 passengers. Meanwhile, another startup company called Universal Hydrogen is working on a plan to convert existing Dash 8 and ATR42 regional airliners. The difference is that it plans to take pre-fueled modules directly from the hydrogen production facilities to the aircraft, where they'd be fitted into a special storage compartment from which plumbing lines would take the fuel to nacelles on the wing where fuel cells and electric motors are installed to power the aircraft's existing propellers. Universal Hydrogen founder Paul Eremenko, who as it happens used to be Chief Technology Officer at Airbus, says that his plan avoids the need for costly refueling infrastructure, including ships, pipelines, and trucks. He believes his California-based company could get a converted airliner into service by the end of 2024. To encourage early adopters, Universal Hydrogen is willing to cover some or all of the cost of converting the aircraft in return for long-term contracts to supply fuel for the operators. Thanks for watching this AIN video. Please like, subscribe, and share it if you've enjoyed it. Also, visit AINonline.com for all the latest on the aviation industry.